Exhale. Pause. Inhale. Exhale. Pause. He got died diagnosed with ALS a couple of years ago. Before, just before the diagnosis came in and, and David knew that it was gonna be ALS, um, he had told me, I was still living on the West Coast at that point, and, he, and he'd given me the go ahead um, to tell some, a couple of close friends. And I told the people that he'd given me the authority, the, uh, the approval to, to tell. And in just some weird kind of moment, I, I wound up telling two friends, uh, and both of them verbatim said the same thing, was, which was, you know that's what killed my dad. Um, Our water prayer. I don't know what people did, you know, many, many years ago without all of this stuff. Obviously, communication was somewhat limited. We do have the board that has the letters on it that he can point to, which is really great. H A D harder, but harder. In his programming days, in his brilliant technology days, he used to say, develop a 10-year plan for things. And so he decided to develop a 10-year plan for surviving ALS. For, first, I want to thank everyone for taking the time and thinking about David Anderson and uh, opening your hearts up to helping David Anderson. What we're trying to do with this Kickstarter campaign is to help David obviously communicate more effectively in the world. And while this Kickstarter is about giving David the ability to communicate effectively and meaningfully to not just his family, but to the rest of the world, this, this project is also about giving David the ability to communicate via music. David is passionate about music. He makes beautiful music. And what we want to do, we want to enable David to use his eyes, which is literally about all he has left to communicate with at this point. So wherever his eyes go, it's like a mouse waiting to click, you know, and if he stays on something too long. And I felt a vibration in my pocket and I had received a, a text from David that said, sup, um, and it was like, did it just take you two hours to get three letters and a question mark out? Of all the people that could design the hardware, write the software for this project, it's David. It's interesting to see him get angry at technology when he can't yell at it like, like he has been. And I don't know how to say it other than it's a complete piece of shit. It's uh, about a $7,000 computer. More than that, David says. The world of software usability has up-leveled so dramatically with the advent of iOS, Android and Windows 8 that many of the accessibility issues are addressed natively by these modern operating systems. The hardware platforms are much easier to work with and are significantly lighter, but have plenty of horsepower. Add to this, the low cost and it is obvious that the accessibility world has fallen behind. I was DJing from my iPad before I lost the ability to use my arms. My iPad had all but replaced my laptop. We're building a hardware platform, uh, probably using a variety of devices and also software. A lot of that's going to have to be custom written middleware that will come together to form a package where David can actually communicate Twitter, Facebook, Whatever it is he wants to do, surf the web, perhaps even use voice synthesizer to talk again. And we've also built into the budget a considerable amount of money to enable us to open source everything that we develop that can be rolled out to all sorts of accessibility communities. MS, ALS, children with learning disabilities. The idea of bringing the magic of tablet devices to people that really need it. And his music, he loves, loves, loves a deep bass. And his music, boy, once he gets going, if he is allowed <laughs> to have the sound as loud as he wants. I, I, I think it's magic. Uh, for those of you watching this video as part of the Kickstarter campaign, I want to bring your attention to the, the biggest award. Come to the party in Minneapolis this New Year's Eve. Listen and watch David turn out the beats with just his eyes and get an entire dance floor grinding in a dirty, sexy, just messy New Year's Eve party. Two plane tickets, hotel, 
tickets to the party, hanging out with some of the coolest people you know, and a backstage pass to see David Anderson DJ with just his eyes. I love this man. He is, I've loved him from the, after lust from the first moment, but shortly after love. <laughs> Whatever it takes to make his days as joyful and as wonderful and as fulfilling and as with as much smiling and laughter as and ease and comfort. Whatever I can do to get that for him, I will do. No crazy overhead, no weird bureaucracy. Just some amazing musicians, hackers, software geeks, and all around great people creating some awesome technology to help David Anderson DJ New Year's Eve this year with just his eyes. Please support us and help make this happen.